Hello everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. I saw this and it warmed my heart because I've made this video before and, and um, this is going to be a redo of the video after seeing this. Net neutrality. So ultimately, there is no... Look, there's no groundswell of support for net neutrality. You have this person who was put in, IG Pi, I think his name, I'll read his name later on. Um, that was put in by Obama. People thought, everyone knew that he had a hard on for getting rid of net neutrality, but I suspect that there was a groundswell of support and this was Obama's guy. He didn't do it. The rules for the most part still held pat that the net will remain neutral. Trump gets in office. Well, we have a new president now. This particular president is on board for it. So yeah, let's kill net neutrality. We're going to get the government's hands out of net neutrality. What that means is you have a small group of companies, these service providers, internet service providers, things like um, Verizon, AT&T, uh, those type of companies, want the ability to micromanage the internet so they can have fast lanes, they can have slow lanes, they may turn off certain sites, they may charge you exorbitant prices in order to get from point A to point B. So a company can make a deal with Hulu to edge out, uh, to edge out um, Netflix, that type of stuff. Or Netflix pays an extra amount, so Netflix gets the fast lane, where Hulu can't afford to pay that amount, so Hulu doesn't. Not to mention, new companies that are trying to get into the mix. Oh, good luck. Good luck. The expense that is going to be taken on top of what's already there in order to get the internet is going to be given to you. These companies are going to pass that expense right on to you. So once Google and Netflix and maybe these Google Play mini music, all of these sites that you rely on in regards to internet bandwidth is going to be a squeeze for additional profits. This is going to fuck over the overwhelming majority of the population. And saying overwhelming doesn't even get across. It's like 99.999% of the population. You have a very small group of people who want to get this done. I've said before that calling your congressman is not enough. Um, standing out of, of, of Verizon with signs is not enough. Tweeting is comically ridiculous. I've said before that it takes bodies and it takes people being there screaming and yelling obscenities and saying bad things about this guy in addition to making colorful adjectives of this guy fornicating with his mom. Somebody apparently listened. Somebody apparently listened. And they did it in a way that's interesting and that pissed off. Uh, what is this guy's name? Ajit Pai. It pissed off Ajit Pai. It pissed him off enough where he put, he said, hey, stop harassing my family. This is the Hill article. Let's look at what happened. FCC chairman, stop harassing my family over net neutrality. Oh, poor baby. Stop harassing his family. Federal Communication Commission Chairman Ajit Pai asked people to stop harassing his family over attempts to roll back net neutrality. During a money interview on Fox News' and Friends, Pai addressed a sign that was put outside his home that mentioned his children's names and read, They will come to know the truth. Dad murdered democracy in cold blood. That sign is right, by the way. What they mean by that is, you're... Facebook, Twitter, and Google have already taken to this thing of banning certain things or shadow banning, meaning Google has a political dog in the hunt. Facebook, Twitter, they have political dogs in the hunt. If there's information that they don't want you to see, they make that information more difficult for you to see. They admitted to it. This is going to be worse. This is going to be worse. So them putting the sign out saying, Look, this is going to kill freedom of speech. This is going to adversely affect freedom of speech. If there is something that will adversely affect the interests of that particular company, that company could say, we're going to slow that down. We're going to slow that down. We don't need to hear from you, buddy. We don't need to hear from you at all. So yes, in addition to charging more, you're also talking about eliminating or gutting this idea of free speech. The internet will no longer be a free speech zone. It certainly crosses the line with me, Pi. 
You know what crosses the line with me? Fucking over the internet. That's what crosses the line with me. Who's asking for this? Explain to me. Like, what I'm missing is, where is the groundswell of support to push this through? Ultimately, this is just pie. This is just these people on this, three people, two out of three, thinking that this is an awesome fucking idea, even though they have no support of the public itself. And the only support they have are from a bunch of executives that want to enrich themselves over this rule change. I understand that people are passionate about policy. No, the people are passionate about the internet. They don't want you to take and gut the internet. That's what they're passionate about. But the one thing in America that should remain sacred is families, wives, and children. No, it shouldn't. You should be harassed. You should be harassed. You're doing something that adversely affecting 99.99% of the population. And you believe that that population should just let you go about your way as if what you're doing is just pure policy. You're reaching out and touching the public. The public is touching back. It sucks for you. It sucks for you. Stop harassing us at our homes. No, please harass him at his home. Please harass him at his home. And please harass him at work. And please harass him when he's getting coffee. And please harass him when he's walking to his car. Please harass him at every step along the way. Let's stop acting like what these guys and these people do just because they're wearing suits are somehow separate and distinct from the shittiness that they put out into the world. If he wants to do bad things into the world, the world should do bad things back. If that means that the world should harass him at home, oh, that's minor. That's minor. Hanging a sign out your house is a minor thing. That's a minor thing. Putting a sign in your car is a minor thing. That's a very minor thing. Yeah, they should be harassed. They should be harassed. Every step along the way, everything that he does in his life, he should be harassed. If he allows this to go through, he should be harassed for every day of his life until the day that he dies. He should never be able to live this down. Even if they change the policy, he should never be able to live it down. That's where I'm at. Come on, what am I missing? What am I missing? This guy is acting like this is a pure issue of policy. It's not a fucking issue of policy. You're making a choice that's going to adversely affect everyone else in this country, particularly in regards to issues of free speech. Let's stop acting like what you're doing is just this kind of, oh, I'm just doing policy. I'm just moving levers, just twisting knobs. No, it has a real world repercussion. It has a real world repercussion. Throwing a quarter over the side of a building doesn't just vanish. It hits, it lands somewhere. Shooting a gun up in the air, that bullet lands somewhere. You, dressed in a suit, in a quiet room, making some policy, actually does have repercussions. Some of these are just touching back. They're just reaching back. I like this. This fills me with a certain sense of joy. I, I've seen people saying that they're going to have marches and protests and all this other stuff. Look, protesting at a Verizon store is comically ridiculous to me. It's comically ridiculous. Getting in his face, not so much. If you have a million people showing up at the FCC, if you have a million or millions of people flooding Washington, Google, Facebook, Twitter, Netflix, Amazon, all of these places that rely on web support should be flashing messages to each and every one of the people who are on those sites periodically. This is what they're going to do to the net. You need to be aware of this. You need to stop this. You need to be out there putting your body on the line. Do you want your internet to turn into something fundamentally different? If not, you need to organize and you need to protest. You're perfectly okay with shadow banning. You're perfectly okay with intruding into elections by changing the content and information that people see. But on this, you're silent? You should be pitching a bitch. If you're okay with elections, you, be, you should be okay with pitching a fit about this. And yes, I'm talking about Google, Facebook, Twitter, Hulu, Amazon, all of these companies that rely on the internet, all of these companies should be pitching a bitch. You should be pitching a bitch. If you want to protest, guys, don't do it at the Verizon store. Go to the location where it matters. Go to the location where it matters. Organize up with other groups that are willing to go to the location. It's not enough to be at a Verizon store. Those workers at the Verizon store have done nothing to you. Your issue is this asshole. If you want to put bad signs on him, put bad signs on his car, put bad signs on his house, put bad signs out of his car, all that stuff, whatever. However he's touched, touch him. 
However, you such touch him. I mean, come on. I, I hear people saying they're going to call their senators and all this other stuff. I just read a report saying that there were multiple senators from Maine that were against it, including several, including one of which were, was a Republican. Do you think he cares? Like, I just don't see concern or care. Like, A, Obama put him up. So that should tell you what you need to know about Obama in the first place. And B, whatever you believe your government to be, if you believe it's working for your best interests, you are fucking insane. And if nothing else, this should rip that facade off. You need to explain to me who's looking for this. And you need to explain to me how this will benefit the rest of the public. You need to ask me who benefits, who prospers. I guarantee you it's not the overwhelming majority of the public. The only people clamoring for this, there is a 0.1% of the population clamoring for this. And the idea that this moving forward is sick. It's fucking sick. You don't get to complain, dude. You don't get to complain. I don't care if you feel threatened by this. You should feel threatened by this. You should. You should. That's a good place for you to be. They should leave my family outside of this issue and debate the issue on the merits. You're not listening to people debate the issue on the merits. The people have tried to debate the issue on the merits and try to get it across to you that they don't fucking want it. You guys don't want to listen. If you don't want to listen, then you end up with stuff like this. People bugging you and your family. Don't complain to me. Don't cry to me. Don't cry to me. Don't cry to me on this. I am not in favor of anybody injuring him or his family. I am in favor of them scaring the shit out of him, however. That is an immensely, what's the word I'm looking for? Controversial position to be in. I am not talking about using violence. I am talking about having people protest and be in numbers at the FCC and in Congress. And if he feels intimidated by those people protesting and those people bitching and moaning and having millions of people outside the FCC, good. Good. That's a good place for him to be. Be mad and annoyed all you want. I'm, I'm not against these people bitching at you where you live. I'll leave it at that. Complaints are good. Protests are good. Don't protest over rise and stores. Protest where it counts. That's all I'm getting at. Bitch and moan and organize where it counts and, and by the way when you do this don't disperse like well, what I mean by that is if you're gonna organize a protest try to organize it in a way where you can keep track of each and every person who goes to that protest so you can at least create a unit and a web all throughout the United States of people who are that active and that animated and have those people under one umbrella use stuff like this use it for good ends um, but well, what he's about to do is disgusting. So yeah, I am not against people bugging the shit out of him and him crying about leaving his family out of it. He's going to include a lot of other people's families. You don't get to leave yours up. I will leave it at that. All right, guys, if you enjoy the content, feel free to share, like, subscribe. And of course, you can always support the Patreon. Thanks, guys.